I born and grew it on um, Henry Island and I still live in the it and this 50, 54 years I have. Henry Island, home to fisherman and trapper Peter Bumbery, is found in the storybook village of Kamwata. Named after the small bamboo plants that once thrived here, Kamwata is a tranquil community of 885 residents, living a quiet and peaceful life by choice. We are a quiet and a peaceful village here. Um, we are one village that we don't really have much um, alcoholism problems. We, um, for a number of years, we have banned the sale of alcohol in the village, and we have been enjoying the peaceful um, surroundings of yeah, quietness. In Kamata, indigenous traditions shape everyday life and decision making, including the allocation of funds from Guyana's carbon credit scheme under the Low Carbon Development Strategy, LCDS. We had to call a community meeting, um, hear from the people directly what they would want to be done rather than the government tell us what they would do for us. And so we were able to um, reach together as a community and the residents, they decide as to what they would want this 24 million to be spent on. The community chose to invest in their livelihoods, focusing on poultry, agriculture, and both commercial sea fishing and traditional bush fishing methods practiced by locals like Peter Bumbery. Oh yes, the net is um, real helpful because we're catching the fish and we're selling, and then we buy with stuff like sugar, milk, coffee, you no know, we I'm really not people like coffee much. <laughs> yes. Like a scale and touch like that is um, used for, for night for um, strike to see the scene with the fish inside. And you got this to put the fish inside and you catch. You could put them living with water inside. And then they could live inside the um mostly the um the arrow we just call them. Some some are like to um hurry. You are supposed to know the fish. Beyond fishing, the village prioritized basic needs. Water tanks, pumps and pipes brought clean water to every island household. Additionally, Kamwata embraced electrification, with 97 homes now receiving a stable power supply. Well, the government, they, they gave us a generator and it was there for a while. And when we received the money you now for the carbon credit, we, as a community, we decide on, you know, purchasing the wires, as you see up there, and do the connections to the houses, to the homes. And so far, everything is okay. We are so thankful. The children, they are benefiting. At least they are getting to do their schoolwork. They could, like, in, during the afternoon period, the night. We, at present, we're getting, like, the electricity from 5 to 10 o'clock in the night and we are so thankful for that. With reliable electricity, residents like Davida Benjamin can expand their businesses, fostering a thriving local economy. So right now, we are benefiting, and I have a small business here, and it's doing very good. At least we can, I can have cold drinks, I can have like local juice and other things, so it can be able to, it, it's really helping me a lot. So. The LCD, LCDS funds are doing well, I think, in this area. Well, first, I hadn't no, I hadn't no um, current. Just recently, I started. At first, I started with a snacket, but I had no current, so I can able to keep like drinks or so juice. But now I can able to have like um, I sell like hot dog, sausage, cheese and sometimes ice cream. Football is hugely popular in Maruka, and Kamwata is no exception. The villagers also dedicated funds to sports development, increasing the popularity of cricket. The Maitiwara Sports Club would have been involved in um, most of the sports activities. Cricket, football, volleyball, and to some extent we had table tennis. Um, so based on that, we came up with the list of sports gears to purchase. So far, the, the gears, they would have helped our sports club members, we can say, which include children as young as from 
under 10 up to the senior teams. Um, all the players would have been using the gears and uh, we played in friendly games as well as competition. So they would have assisted our team to, to play better, to play comfortable using these gears. The Moruka Sports Council is now affiliated with the Essequibo Cricket Board when it comes to cricket. So now and again we have coaches coming from Essequibo to scout for players in our area here. And since we are a club, players from our club go for the trials and so on. So um, coming back to the gears, having these gears, they help us a lot in terms in those terms. All in all, we are grateful for the um, for the funds that was received. I think it not. That I think it it's it was for the first time that we received just um, a wonderful support from the government through the LCDS funds. Um, and thanks to the um, advocacy of the of Dr. Jack Dio, who have been going out there and um, you know advocating for the um, carbon credits to be given, and so. Um, Hence, we are all glad to be beneficiaries of that um, initiative that was taken. While Guyana's carbon credit scheme and LCDS program have faced controversy regarding inclusivity, Kamwata serves as a positive example. Here, development is chosen, not imposed, ensuring the village progresses on its own terms.